How's it going, YouTube? Yeah, Pat Mac here, coach of the Sacramento Sand Slash, bringing you week five of the YCL up against Bishmi, coach of the Trash Town Thievals. You can see our team up above, their team down below. Both teams range of speed order, of course, as well as six Pokemon that we are bringing, and the six Pokemon that I think the Trash Town Thievals would bring to our match. All right, before we start talking about this matchup, can y'all take a look at that logo for the Trash Town Thievals? That thing is so cool. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Well done, Bishmi. That logo is so cool. Love it. Absolutely love it. Anyway, let's talk about how we're going to uh, beat this man. Uh, we're going to play a little game of who's got the boots. Because he's got five Pokemon that are weak to rocks. And this is a item clause league, which means that only one Pokemon gets to run heavy duty boots. And we're going to knock those off. Basically, I'm just trying to say that Stealth Rock does a lot of damage to his team. So we have rocks up. We want to get rid of his boots uh, so we can switch around and make sure his Pokemon take a lot of damage that way. Then our fast alien, our Nihilego, is going to come in and put the absolute work in. Um, the only Pokemon on his team, I think, based on Calyx, I'm checking things out before we started, is Stunfisk. I think that's the only Pokemon that can really wall it, and that Stunfisk is threatened by quite a few Pokemon on our team, namely uh, Blastoise, Zygarde, and uh, Sneasel. So, we take out that Pokemon, Nihilego runs through his team, and Aegislash as well. If we can take that Pokemon out, then he's got no rock uh, resist, and then Meteor Beam Powered Gem just goes through and cleans, cleans through. Anyway, we'll see if the six Pokemon that you can see there are the six Pokemon that the Trash Town Thievals decide to bring to our match. Okay, so here we are in the match, and it looks like... Okay, a couple things are here, and a couple things are not here. So we do have a Bulbasaur, um, which showed up in a mock and actually did really well. Uh, shout out to... Um, uh, Brave for bringing that one. It was... Uh, it was a tough set to break through. Uh, and then there's no Crobat. And there is a... There's a Ditto. Okay, they did bring Ditto. I was wondering if they would bring Ditto. Um, just because like I have a lot of setup options. So being able to kind of steal my setup is pretty solid. Uh, what did they lead with? I think the only thing I wouldn't want to see if I led with Blastoise would be Ivysaur. Um, but I could probably just swap out. And I'd probably go... I might even go Death Strike uh, on that one. Maybe I can knock off its um, knock off its item, or maybe like Triple Axel. I think this is probably the best way for us to start off. Start this off. I could also lead the Panda. Ooh, I kind of like that. I think it's a little too late to change it up now. Anyway, good luck. Have fun over to bitch me. Should be a fun match. Excited to see what he has going on here. I am kind of kind of glad to see uh, Togekiss because I think that um, I have a lot of ways of breaking through it. So it's kind of nice to see it here. Said Juani. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. Okay, so one of the, th the things that I think is really cool about Bitch Me is that um, he he's a league player, right? Like if you if you can't tell. He's a league player, and so like all the all of his Pokemon he names after league characters, and Sejuani's freaking cool. I love Sejuani. Anyway, we're swapping out here. Um, I may might go Toxic Spikes. Okay. Uh, oh well, in that case, I'm just gonna swap into Nihilego. Yeah, I'm just gonna swap into Nihilego. That seems like a great idea. And then um, I'm just gonna. Power gem this, honestly. So it's good for us to know what kind of uh, set he's got going on here. So he's got spikes, um, and uh, he is not a um, he's not assault vested uh, since he's got that status ability or non-attacking ability, I guess. Better way of putting that. Yeah, so he's gonna swap here. Makes a lot of sense. Naya. Ah, okay. So this is your your answer to. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, we'll go into Death Strike. I think I should be okay to take a hit here. Um, I could also just get Rocks up. Honestly, that's probably better. Let's just get Rocks up. We get a little chip, little bit of chip damage on this, which I think is gonna be solid. Knock off. Okay. 
unfortunate to lose our item there, but, you know, it's just the way it is. Um, yeah, let's get rocks up here. Leech seed. Ooh, this is, this is the set that was messing me up in prep, I swear. <laughs> um, we're gonna swap here. We'll, we'll bring in, um... Uh, what's it say? Um, we'll bring Sneasel. But I really don't want to um, get too much damage taken off on this uh, Bronzong. Because we do, we do want to be able to check some things. Um, so we will go Death Strike here. And this will definitely scare it out. Let's see what they decide to do. I go for another knockoff? Okay. Losing protective pad sucks, but it was really just there for um, the static from uh, um, the stun fisk that didn't come. So um, I'm expecting cloister to come in right here. Yep, yeah, that's the cloister. So we won't deal very much damage to this. That oh, that was a crit. Okay, that was more than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> it was way more than I thought. Hey, we found the boots, everybody! We found the boots! We figured it out. Um, I, I'm i gonna go with... Yeah, I'm gonna go with the panda here. Bring in Kung Fu. I'm kind of curious what they decide to bring in on this. Probably the... Um, ah, okay, makes sense. Yeah, they, don't, they do not want rocks up. And, um, I think the Togekiss comes in. I'm going to Parting Shot. I don't think that this stays in. Oh, it did stay in. Okay, fair enough. Uh, in which case, I think I'll go with um, Blastoise. is probably just a safe call. But I really don't want it to take too much damage here, so probably not... Yeah, no, this is fine. I think I am going to go Blastoise. I kind of wonder what move they go for. Spikes. Oh, okay. Are they sacking this? They're sacking this then. Yeah, there's no way that you would have stayed in on that if you were, unless you were sacking it. So I'll just flip turn. Um, I think that they could bring in, because um, like I could go for a rapid spin right here. So maybe they bring in uh, Aegislash. I could see that happening. That would be one option. Trundle. Who's Trundle? Ah, that's you. Okay. Makes sense. This would definitely threaten uh, Blastoise, so we'll get out. We'll bring in um, Adamantine, who's going to be our best. Wow, double crit. Crit earlier, crit now. I guess that's sometimes what happens in the game. Uh, this is going to be our best option. Um, I could also bring in Kung Fu, which is... And this would let me know if they're Scarf, which I don't really want to throw that away if they are Scarf. Let's see if I can get a sense of what kind of item they are um, by bringing in um, Bronze on. I like that a little bit more. Uh, do I want to get rocks up here, or do I want to take this out? I kind of want to just go for an iron head. Let's get some damage on this. Switch things up a little bit. My guess is that they swap, though. Yeah, they swap. Viego. Who's Viego? Oh, hey! This makes a lot... So, Viego in, um, in the actual game is... Uh... Yeah, it's it's basically a. Uh, do I want, do I just want to ride rocks up myself? Hmm. I could also go Pangoro because I can't really touch my own Pangoro. Let's do that. Um, they will know that Pangoro is scarf. Uh, because we went before the cloister. 
Um, they could go with like a Toxic, or they go for a Stealth Rock of their own. Okay. Um, I really want to get these uh, uh, hazards gone now. So let's go knock off. It'll do a lot of damage to this, which they probably withdraw. Yeah. And there's said one. Oh, okay. Cool. It kind of looks like their game plan is to hazard stack. That's what I'm kind of getting the sense of here. Um, so we'll go into the first here, and then I think I'm going to look to... Oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to wrap it spin. We're going to take rocks, and we're going to take spikes. Another layer of spikes, yeah. So the hazard stack is, um, is getting pretty real here. Um, I think this is honestly where they bring in Aegislash, but my Blastoise is here for the Aegislash, so... Um, if they do bring that in, then I'm just going to Scald to try to burn it um, as much as I can. And we'll just try to get rid of these hazards. Yeah. They probably go Aegislash, right? No? Okay. That's actually great. So they'll get a sense for what my um, set is. They have a pretty cool way of using... Um, uh, their ditto. I think they do a lot of scouting with it, which I think is pretty cool. Um, a burn on this would be kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Um, I am gonna be faster than it. Is there anything I'd like to bring in necessarily on this? I could probably bring Bronzong in. I could also just Scald. Let's just get a burn, maybe. Burn would be pretty nice. Hey, they have the same idea as me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so now I'll go for um, the flip turn here. And then I think I'll probably go... Probably go Adamantine. Oh, it's okay if that gets burned. Not ideal, but it's okay. Another option would actually be to go into you, which is an idea, but i probably go... Could I go Bangoro? I don't really want to get burned here. Yeah, let's go here. Been an interesting match so far. Another Scald, okay. We took more damage than I thought we would from that. I'm going to put up a Stealth Rock here. Although they have a way to clear it right now. Actually, would... Maybe Toxic would have been the right play here. Yeah, Toxic might have been the right play. Although getting Rocks up is really good against this team, so... I definitely want to have that going for us. They've been holding, um, who's Brom? Ah, that's you. Okay. Okay, so now I want to go into Blastoise, who's taken quite a bit of chip damage at this point. We still, I think we're still okay, though. And this is actually, so I really want to know what kind of um, set he has on Aegislash. But there's no hazards on our side right now, which is awesome. Are you special? I think you'll be special. No, you're physical. Okay. Okay, that looks to be about what I would expect. So I'm going to... Scald? Burn would be amazing on this, especially since we know he's physical now. Although I think I, I should be slower, unless he's got negative speed. And then um, I'll take a hit here, swap into... Okay, cool. They swap out. Perfect. Who's Naya again? Oh, that's you. Okay, cool. So now we get in um, our Sneasel. And I think I'll go for a Triple Axel. 
Yeah, I'm probably gonna go for a triple axel here. Or knockoff. Knockoff feels really good too. What if I swords danced? Would that be crazy? I don't think it would be. I'm gonna swords dance. Let's see what they do. I could see a leech seed potentially. Giga drain. Okay. We take some damage, but like I, I think that with a swords dance now, like we're gonna hit this really hard. Um so let's go triple axel. And we should be the fastest thing unless he has a scarfer, which I think the Kirim could be scarf. So he would look to like revenge kill this with the uh, Kirim. Oh my gosh. That's rough. Missing that move is absolutely terrible. <laughs> Sometimes that happens though. Because we know that we take this out if we do it. I feel pretty certain. There we go. Yeah, that's that's a KO. 100%. Okay, so we're gonna lose we're gonna lose some chip here from um Okay, so Sneasel KOs uh, Ivysaur. So that's the first KO of the match, which is pretty crazy. Um, I'm probably swapping out here. Because I'm assuming that Kirim comes in. And Kirim, I'm guessing, a Scarf. It's gotta be Scarf, right? It's gotta be Scarf. <laughs> I feel very certain that it's Scarf. Oh, you bring in Maimon against me. Huh. That actually could be a problem. Are you... <sighs> yeah, because it gets the Sword Stance boost. Are you Scarf, or am I going to play this 50-50 this right here? Hmm. Okay, did, did not think about it coming in on my own Mon here. I don't think I can actually take two hits on any of my Pokemon from this. So I'm gonna go with the low kick. Hopefully we win a speed tie. Or we just win, we, yeah, we won the speed tie, cool. And getting rid of the ditto is really nice because that just means that all of any of our setup options um, are just super powerful now. Quinn, who's that? You brought that in really fast. We have a very, very good switch in with both Bronzong and um, he Lego. So I'm going to bring in uh, the Bronzong here. Because I think that this is, um, I think this is, this might actually be Scarf, the way it's brought in here. Because I would have expected Kiram to be the one to come in if this, um, yeah, I would have expected Kiram to be the one to come in if this wasn't Scarf. Um, I'm going to go for a... Do I want to make the double, actually? I could double. Because I kind of think that this... Um, I think that this swaps out. And I think they bring in Aegislash. I kind of... Oh, man. If I get this double wrong, though, I am absolutely screwed. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go for Iron Head. Because, uh, yeah... Because if they swap out, then they take another round of rocks. They stay in. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, man. If I hadn't... Uh, if I hadn't... Um... Oh, man. Yeah, if I had swapped, like, we would have been in such a terrible position. Um, as it is, I think we're actually at a very good spot. So they pick up the KO here. So take a kiss, uh, KO bronze on. But we have rocks up, so we're looking pretty good there. Um, I believe this is Scarf. And, okay, now I really want to know if I go... Oh, 
I'm wondering if I can go Meteor Beam. Do I need Toxic Spikes? I don't think I do. I don't think I want to go Meteor Beam yet. I think I'm just going to pick up the KO here. If they go before me, then I'll know this is Scarf. They die from another round of rocks, so I think that they stay in. Oh, let me take off Bronzong. And then if we t if this is their Scarfer, right? We know it's dead. They stayed in. They stayed in? Oh my gosh, what? All right, well, that puts us in a super good position. So we pick up the KO on um, Cloyster. Uh, this dies to another round of rocks, so... Um, or not this, the Togekiss does. Honestly, I think I might just Hex here. Although I really don't need to. Yeah, I really don't need to. Um, Blastoise is potentially a sack here. It just kind of depends. They do it for close combat. Okay, cool. So we managed to take that, and then I think they probably swap. I'm gonna go for the flip turn. If they're slower, then hey, we get some damage from the flip turn. But they are faster, okay. And they are not okay. Cool. So they are not um, like banded or scarfed or anything like that either. Um, Age slash picks up the KO on Blastoise, and then we will go. I think I'm gonna go Death Strike. Yeah, I'm gonna go Death Strike here. We'll go Knock Off. They probably King Shield. I don't think that they can swap here. Maybe they could swap into the um, Kirim, but I don't think so. And they can't swap into the Togekiss. Togekiss is dead. Like, that's just the way it is. Yeah, this is gonna die to rocks. I could have gone for, like, a Sword Stand, Sword Stand, which would have been pretty cool. But if they had gone for an attack, then, um, <laughs> then, I, then I would have lost my Revenge Killer, right? Like, that would have been pretty bad. And they bring in Kirim. Um... I don't have great switch-ins to cure him anymore. So honestly, I'm just gonna go for some damage. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for some damage. Damn, Sneasel putting in work right now. Picking up KOs all over the place. And so they're down to only Aegislash. I don't think Aegislash can come through and beat all of my Pokemon here, so um, we'll just go for knockoff. We probably... Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that was terrible. Whoops. <laughs> oh, man. Messed that up. Yeah, we go down. Whoops. Uh, based on what they just did, I, I kind of wonder. I don't think they have, um, uh, King Shield. Alright. We can go for a fighting move on this one, though. <laughs> oh, man. Because we are scrappy, so it hits, it hits the ghost types. There we go. That was the plan, right? The plan was just to give Pangor the kid. Like, that was, that was all we were trying to do, you know? <laughs> oh man. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. So, uh, team put in quite a bit of work uh, today. I was really happy with uh, Sneasel. I was, I was very on the fence. It was actually the last set I built for this match. Um, 
and uh, and it ended up putting in a lot of work. It ended up picking up, I think, three kills. Yeah, three kills throughout that. And I don't think it would have KO'd the um, Age of Slash, but it would have dealt a lot of damage to it. Because um, knockoff hits pretty hard, but um, it wouldn't have been enough for a KO, I don't think. Like, may just depending on his spread. Depending on his spread, maybe. Actually, depending on his spread, it might have been. Um, but either way, good game over to Bishmi. Um, it was a lot of fun uh, this match, and I think we were just able to like come in with answers. We got rid of the boots on stuff. Rocks were amazing uh, for this matchup, just like we thought they were going to be in our team preview. Um, so we improved to 5-0, and uh, if you'd like to see some more of our content, whether it's the YCL here for our singles league, or if you'd like to see some of the uh, VGC draft leagues that we're in, definitely stick around, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.